So welcome to a new video of Dynasty Wolf where we will talk about is it worth it to upgrade a hero's skill past his awakening. So today we will talk about Zhuge Liang and in this video I'm not going to switch to the Excel spreadsheet and look at a uh, number and have a detailed analysis on it because his ability, his upgrade pattern, damage output it's pretty straightforward so I'm not going to, I don't need to do that to be able to explain uh, his skill. So his skill will release 5 Thunderbolt that will that will do 1100 damage, area damage to its target uh, with a 12, si 12 second cooldown so it's a very strong, extremely strong um, ability. But before we look at the level 60, 15 out of 15 maxed out version, let's take a look at the original one which is the level 50, 10 out of 10. Level 50, 10 out of 10 does 910 area damage compared to the level 60, 15 out of 15, 11 145, this is 235 more damage. If you awaken him and get him to level 60, but still at 10 out of 10, it's 1002 damage. So that's about 92 extra damage. And then from that point on, from uh, level 60, 10 out of 15 to 15 out of 15, you get 130 and 143 more damage for 5 extra level. So it's not really a, really a lot per strike if you think about it this way because it's only 100 more damage, it's only 10 more percent. You, you can think about it in the whole scheme of the whole skill. So that's 500 more damage. So it might be significant, the total damage could be significant. It's going from uh, 5,000 to 5,500 damage per, per um, skill. So that you can think about it this way, but it's still 10 percent. However, the main thing you have to think about is going from 1,000 damage to 1,100 damage, how much of a difference can that make? And the fact is, it's not going to make a big difference because we can take a look at a, let's say, a level 2 Purgatory Tower and a level 3 Purgatory Tower. The level 3 Purgatory Tower has 2,800 damage. If you are at 10 out of 15, you need 3 strikes to destroy it. If you're 15 out of 15, you still need three strikes to destroy it. But let's say a level two Purgatory Tower, yes, at 10 out of 15, you will need three strikes to destroy it. And if you upgrade it maybe two times, then you only need two strikes to destroy it. So that's one scenario you have to account for is how many strikes to destroy a building. Another building is the, um, the Magic Crossbow. At level two and level three. Level two, it only has 1900 HP. You need two strikes to destroy it at 10 out of 15. You still need two, two strikes to destroy it at 15 out of 15. As you can see, once certain um, defensive structure gets to a um, high enough level, it doesn't matter because the increase in damage is it's more, way more than the an extra 100 um, damage per strike. And even around level 10 and 11 Archer Tower and the Meteor um, Crossbow, you can't destroy it in one hit anyways, especially with the Defense Academy. You will need at least two strikes to destroy these buildings, no matter if you're 10 out of 15 or 15 out of 15. So in that case, it's pointless because you're doing more damage, but you don't, you still don't, won't be able to destroy that building. The only situation is when a building is a multiple of, let's say, uh, 1,100. So in that case, a 1,000 damage strike would not be able to destroy it, but a 1,145 strike will destroy it. So obviously this case is very rare where you will find um, a building's health is between the 10 out of 15 and 15 out of 15's damage range and you have to find multiples of it so that you can actually save a strike from Zhuge Liang's skill. That being said, what I'm trying to say is getting that 100 extra damage is pointless if you're only using it to destroy um, destroy the defensive structure. However, what's actually useful is killing heroes. Because killing hero, you don't you probably won't be able to kill a hero it depends what hero it is, but hero you might need to use all five strikes on it and still won't be able to kill it. So the more damage it is, the better it is because you're not wasting any damage. But if you think about it, Yuki Liang's skill is very OP already. Um, he if he has five strikes most likely, if it's 1000 or 1100, uh, he will still kill most archer hero or fan hero without treasure. With treasure, they might be able to um, handle that, 
So his skill, leveling up, getting an extra 100 damage, getting an extra 500 damage per skill, um, will only be useful to killing a sword or shield hero. So that's a case where his skill is worth upgrading, but I mean, you can think about it, it's a couple more hundred damage toward the enemy hero. So the next thing is obviously killing troops. And to be honest, 1000 damage or even 900 damage at its um, level 50, 10 out of 10, doing 910 damage is strong enough to kill most troops anyways. Um, it won't be able to kill tanky troops, but you will it will take two strikes to kill most tanky troops. I don't think maybe very high level you will see maybe um 2000 ish um hp troops i don't have any of that but if you're at that high level your jigulang is probably maxed out anyways so in the early game you don't need to try to um max out jigulang because you don't get much more benefit from him because you're not gonna face like super strong people or super strong heroes that require you to have that extra damage that little extra damage but it's still requires you to invest a lot of resource to upgrade his original skill. The next thing to talk about is his awakening skill. So at level 5, his awakening skill restores 6% of his HP per strike. And remember, there's 5 strikes, so it's actually recovering 30% at uh, 5 out of 5, which is a lot. Um, a max style Jigileon without any treasure is 4000 HP, so that will recover 1200 HP already. Very significant. Uh, but at level 1, it's 2%, so it will recover 2% um, per strike, so that's 10% in total, 400 HP. And then, at level 2, it's it's 3%, so that will be 600 total HP recovered. Each time you upgrade it, you get 1 additional percent. So if you think about it, each time you increase, each time you pay more beads to upgrade it, you're getting less value, even though it's the same percentage, 1%. Percentage. But going from 2% to 3% is a 50% increase, 3 to 4 is a 33% increase, and then it's a 25% increase. And then the last level from 5% to 6%, it's only 20% increase in the extra um, recovery. And that costs 200,000 beats. As always, the last skill is usually the, the least, um, it's not the least valuable, but you don't get as much because it's, it's very expensive and you just get a little bit more. But the thing is, I don't think you need to get to 5 out of 5 or even 4 out of 5. I think 3 out of 5 is good enough because 3 out of 5 will, uh, will recover 4%, which means it will recover 800 HP in total per skill. And I think 800 HP is good enough because, I mean, 400 and 600, you know, you, you, he, will, he will lose that very quickly. But um, up to a certain point, I think that's enough. Unless you have a lot of resource, then you can obviously invest into getting to 5% and 6%. But as, I, as I've mentioned, each increase, the value decreases because you're getting less and less more. So I would say if you started off rushing to get a Jugleon because he's strong, leaving him at 10 out of 15 is definitely fine. And probably getting him to 3 out of 5 is it's, it's fine. It's good enough. Because going, for, going to um, level 3, it only takes you 150,000 beats. But going from 3 to 4, it's another 150,000 beats. So you have to weigh out, is it worth getting that extra 200 HP more? If you think about it, if you, count, if you do the math, uh, level 3 will recover you 800 HP, and level 4 will recover you 1,000 HP. 150,000 beats for 200 more HP per, per um, release of skill, it's not a lot. 200 HP is it's a blink of an eye. You lose it. If you don't lose it, you probably can win anyways. So... This is it for Jigliang. It's kind of a more boring hero to talk about because everything after his awakening is not worth upgrading in my opinion because he is already strong enough without um, awakening. Once you awaken him, you get an additional skill that makes him even better. But anything above and beyond upgrading his awakening, um, I think it's just a ripoff. So this is it for Jigliang and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.